In this video, we'll look at how we can show a loader or loading image when you are performing any action. Either you are saving the data back to the data source, or you are pulling pulling the data from your data source. If it is taking time, like more than half a second, then it is it is always good uh, to show some in progress icon, notification, or any loader, a GIF image, so that user knows that something is happening and it is working. Work is in progress. So how you can achieve here in Power Apps is let's just give it a try. I'll just run it and I'm on this screen now. So when you add a tenant and when I click on submit, I want to show a loader here. So what I'll do, I'll first of all um, fill in some details here. Test. now right now if you look at the screen here the just submit icon where you have right you have a function called submit form and the form control that's it so i just have these many controls on this screen now when i click on submit form uh, the submit icon i need to show a loader so that it will indicate okay the submission function or submission operations in in progress so what you need to do is your loader can be a GIF image. Uh, so what I'll do, I have uploaded an image here. If you go to the media tab, you can see this. This is my one of my favorite loader, uh, the GIF image. You can directly drag it here, okay? Or you can add image control first and then set this as the value to that image. Now this would be my loading image, which I need to show. So what you need to do is go to the first of all what we'll do is here on the submit button we'll write we'll set a value to a variable set show loader this is my variable name to true this is my boolean variable and once the submit <coughs> operation is complete we'll set the variable to false so before submission operation starts, we are setting this variable to true. And once it is complete, we are setting it to false. Now we will use this Boolean variable as a visible property to our loader image. So if I go to visible property, okay. Now back to the screen, you can see this image control got added here because I dragged the loader image here. Now I'll just run it and try to click on the submit icon. You can see the loader image is here and the form has been submitted successfully though the loader image disappeared so that's how you can show the loader image so i'll just run again add new tenant so alex let's just add one more test two and if i hit submit you can see the loader and it disappeared now just to demonstrate it more in detail so i've added a screen another screen with the loader image here you can see this image it's set to tfg loader that's the name of my image and i've added two buttons here one is to show loader on click of it i've added again setting the variable so if i go to the on select property set loading image show to true and on hide it is false so if i run this show loader this will show and loading image hide it okay so this show hide logic you have to write it wherever your business logic is getting executed either you are refreshing uh, let's say here I have a gallery and you are refreshing the gallery or the form and here also in the demo demo screen you can see the loader and you can hide it that's it in this video. I hope this will help you guys. Thank you so much for watching.